what is up welcome welcome back thank you for stopping by i appreciate your time fellow fans of clash of clans it's your host galadon it is no rush clash episode 174 and yes i said no rush clash okay i am doing my best i am trying to resist but it is becoming increasingly difficult and in today's episode we're going to take a closer look at you know really is it that bad to rush just a little bit what do you guys think i encourage you to pop down to the comments while you're down there making the like button happy by gently depressing it leave me a comment and let me know your true feelings don't hold back on whether or not you think this account is far enough through town hall 11 that we could go to town hall 12. we've had maxed out heroes for a long time the walls they're getting there the defenses they have a little ways to go but i'm telling you it's just wow it, it is becoming a little bit tedious i will admit and actually i'm starting to lose interest in this i'm not kidding i am starting to lose interest in this account because it's just a mindless grind at this point right it, it isn't so much oh it takes so many raids oh it's so hard it's just the time the fact that i have to sit here and wait that no builders are free for days and days at a time. The upgrades are like 10 days here for some of these final upgrades. And I'll tell you right now, I have an issue with the design of this game. I can understand now players that have maxed out or nearly maxed out 11 and 12 and how long it takes to get to that next town hall level if you're not willing to rush a little bit. Obviously, if we went to 12 right now, we would have a lot to do. We would definitely have some more upgrades going that were shorter term, not just these long 7 to 10 day upgrades, but we would be able to mix it up. And that way we would have builders coming free like about every day or so, right? And yes, a sixth builder would help. I promise you I'm trying to get there. And this is how I am doing it with the home village rating going pretty well with double boosted super and sneaky goblins and uh wall breakers okay anyway notice the patience right here sometimes i will sit and stare at a defense upgrading just to make sure that i'm present when the builder becomes free and then i hate to get rid of this lucky shrub but you do get three of them so we went ahead and cleared this guy we picked up the elixir not that we really needed it and then again I'm sitting, I'm watching these guys finish their upgrades so that I can put these builders right back to work. Now, I will admit that through all of the recordings of the different accounts that I've been using, I did seem to forget what I used the other builder here for. So I'm guessing that the footage got deleted. Maybe you guys can catch it later on in the episode, but suddenly I will have a builder free right here and then I'll forget. Okay, now, yes, I am trying to fast forward things I'm not buying the builder potions, just they're a pretty bad deal at this point compared to other things we can buy. We've got a book of heroes that is going to get wasted at the end of the month if we don't go to the next town hall level as well. So that's another argument for why maybe we should go ahead and go to 12. But yes, look at the number of walls that we have remaining. It is not good. Uh, but do you see it? Do you see the pattern emerging in the walls here yet? I don't know if you guys see this that was out of place but that's there we go that's it let me know if you guys see what is coming in the future okay so here we go yes there was a builder that was used somewhere and i lost track but now we've got a level 10 wizard tower it just completed and now we've got it looks like 15 defenses remain right 4 8 12 15 defenses two gold mines uh yeah okay and like the, some of those defenses take 10 days so we're talking about a couple of months left if we don't go to town hall 12. i mean look at this guy he went to town hall 12 before i did okay really i i realized that the argument here is i'm about to crush him so maybe it's not a good idea to go early but remember again uh, just just bear with me here you guys okay what am i gonna do what seriously am i gonna do you guys want to see no cash clash episodes where i show you like one upgrade and then like a bunch of raids is that really that much fun? Is that exciting? I know I'm not going to buy packages. I know I'm not going to gem. That's never going to happen. And I also know that with about, what, 1,000 gems left to my name, that that's not going to accelerate things very much. 
right? I mean, you can barely buy a book of building for that if one shows up in the trader and gemming stuff to finish it just doesn't make a lot of sense either. So we do patiently wait. We continue to raid. We have been obviously boosting the sneaky goblins and the super wall breakers because as you can see, we are full in dark elixir once again, and it is being wasted by the tens of thousands. It, it really is. Okay. Again, I will stop arguing for that and we will move on to the other thing you can do when your account is maxed out at Town Hall 11 and you don't have much else to do, and that is to work on your war attacks, right? Work on your three-star strategies. And, uh, and we've had some pretty good wars recently in use code Galadon. A couple of opportunities for me to use my Queen Charge hybrid attack here at Town Hall 11 with all of the maxed out heroes, which of course feels great to have the heroes active and to be able to use them in any farming raid. So I feel extra strong in farming. And then of course, Yes, I'm a creature of habit, and I'm using pretty much exclusively Queen Charge Hybrid at Town Halls 11, and I'm sure I'll use it at 12, and of course, on my main Town Hall 13 accounts. So these attacks kind of seem to go pretty well, although I will admit that not every single Town Hall 11 war attack has been a three star, but that is the great thing about these videos. I will only show you the good attacks, and uh, most people will just think that I attack like this all the time because let's admit it, a large percentage of people have already watched as much of this video as they're gonna watch and they've clicked off. I don't know if you guys knew that, but most gaming content like this, the average viewer watches around half of the video or so. So we are down to well into the 70th percentile of the video right now and you guys are still here. So I just wanted to say thank you for that and I don't know if you realize that but yes I don't know short attention span theater gala boring I don't know what it is but everybody seems to take off after about halfway through and it's not just me that's kind of a YouTube wide thing unless you can put together some crazy sort of reason to stick around for the very end of a video like Peter $17 a lot of people leave but then again a lot of people that are newer to my channel have no idea who that guy is and they don't really care what that weird kid with a strange accent at the end of every video is yelling about. And I have to admit that probably is how all of us should feel. But no, no offense, Peter, but anyway. Okay, so the war attacks are going pretty well. Of course, I am showing these to you at slightly fast forwarded pace so that we don't have to sit through the exact same attack over and over and over again. But as you can see, the strategy is pretty consistent, trying to funnel with the Siege Barracks and the King on one side, the Archer Queen on the other, sending everybody else down the middle, usually after the Town Hall or the Eagle Artillery, and then hoping it works out. And usually it does. It's nice to have so many heal spells. That has been different at Town Hall 11. I've been using one fewer Rage and one extra heal, as opposed to at Town Hall 13, I've been using more Rage spells so that the Queen gets more value. So, you know, that's kind of a toss up. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. I am happy to change this attack strategy or at least the army composition. If you guys think there's something I'm doing wrong, I am always open to feedback, all right? So we'll just let this wrap up. Yes, it is going to be super close. Watch how close this one came. Was queen walking maybe almost a little bit too long and with under 10 seconds left, the hog riders and the miners pick up the last building and we get the epic three star, okay. Now, finally, yes, the level seven minions have completed and uh, well, I'll just admit I'm doing Dark Elixir upgrades because that is the resource that I have way too much of, right? So it just makes sense that we continue to use Dark Elixir here since the heroes are maxed out. Even with the super troops boosting, we still end up maxing out and no, I am not going to upgrade the Lava Hounds once again, off to the Haste spell and off to the status report, okay. Now, you guys remember last episode, we dropped about 500 trophies, gained some of them back this time, just natural progression. As we snipe, we drop, and then we raid, and we increase that trophy level. The gems down a little bit, but still over 1,000. The heroes, yes, they've been maxed out forever and ever and, and, and ever. And you guys noticed I didn't shout out my creator code this episode, right? Because, well, you guys, if you're still here, you know that. And next goals... I will not rush. I will not rush. I will not rush. Thank you, Galafam, for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know that I love thinking about and appreciate every single one of you every single day. So make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to the people. I'm going to see you back here again tomorrow for more attacks. Galadon! Galadon, did you call me a kid? I'm not a kid. I'm this 
many years old.